Today we're going deep into Unreal Engine 5.7 Preview. I took my project Dev Games 3085, pushed it to the absolute limit with foliage, lights, translucent materials, and builds, all to see if 5.7 really delivers the optimization it promises. Previously, I did a video converting my project from 5.5 to 5.6, and I got really solid results. If you missed that one, you can check it out. Link up in the top right. But this time, I recorded everything and really hammered on foliage, lights, and performance. And trust me, the results were wild. For specs, I'm running this test on a 3090 RTX, a Ryzen 7 5800X, and a 64 gig of RAM. Not the newest setup, but still a beast. I do plan to upgrade eventually, probably when the new AMD processors and NVIDIA Supers drop. First, I installed the latest 5.7 preview. Weirdly, it wouldn't install in the default folder. It said that the file path exceeded the maximum character length. Never had I had this problem before, so I just tossed it in the C drive to make things simpler. Before diving in, I wanted to baseline my project. Normally, my game runs between 40 to 55 FPS in editor. Everything is mostly in Nanite, and I even flipped into cluster mode just to show you guys what's happening under the hood. I started by doing some editing in Unreal Engine 5.6 and then cloned the project for stress testing. I had heard that 5.7 would finally support translucency materials in Nanite. Honestly, I doubted it, so I put the claim to the test. I grabbed an asset with a building that had translucent windows. Normally, to make Nanite happy, you swap out those windows to masks. But I reverted them back, switched over to Nanite view, and yep, the building was no longer a Nanite model. To make it easier to see, I cloned the building and dropped it near the spawn and ran standalone. FPS was hovering around 62 to 72, so that's not too bad, but translucency still breaks Nanite. Now the fun part, foliage. Unreal has been saying foliage is more optimized now, so I wanted to see if that was true. I didn't have foliage in the product, so I grabbed assets from the Fab Store library and dubbed it into the foliage tool. At first, I went a little crazy. Huge brush size, high paint density, and the editor bogged down instantly. I mean, we're talking about slideshow level performance. So I dialed it back, picked three bushes and three trees. The trees were about 7K triangles. Bushes were about 76 triangles. I painted around the city and near the building with translucent windows. First attempt, the game wouldn't even run. I was about at 7 FPS. It was very brutal, so I reduced the paint density to 0 0.014 and tested it again. Standalone this time was much more playable. Inside dense foliage, I got dips between 19 to 36 FPS, while open areas held higher, and my GPUs, they were screaming at me nonstop. Then I added some movable lumen lights at the entrance. FPS sat around 46 to 50, but in the forest, it dipped as slow as 17 FPS. I even did a package build, but the performance was basically identical to standalone, same drops, same highs. Time to see what 5.7 could do. I cloned my 5.6 project, disabled all the plugins and opened it bare bones in 5.7. Took a while just cleaning up blueprints so I would actually run. Then I realized I forgot to turn foliage into nanite. So I went back, converted all three bushes and six trees to nanite in 5.6 and tested it again. Strangely, they look washed out, kind of glitchy, but FPS was basically the same. Back in 5.7, I converted foliage to Nanite again. Couldn't get my main character working, so I just dropped in a default third person mannequin, hot pink prototype style. And here's where things got interesting. In editor, foliage wasn't even tanking frames as hard. Lowest dip was 17 FPS, but only for a second. The entrance held about 50 to 63 FPS about a 10 FPS improvement compared to 5.6. Building the project was another headache. Builds felt over and over until I finally found the culprit. In project settings, asset manager, primary asset types to scan, I had to delete every role with game feature data. After that, I finally got it to build. I tested translucency again in 5.7 and yeah, still not working with Nanite. The building dropped out of Nanite mode until I masked the windows. When I did force it back into Nanite, I maybe got 1 to 2 FPS more, but it was about the same. So I went back to 5.6 for a clean standalone test with Nanite foliage and no buildings near spawn. Then I jumped back to 5.7 using the UE4 mannequin. Starting near the lumen lights, FPS was higher right out of the gate. 
Running into the forest, I saw about a 10 to 15 FPS improvement compared to 5.6. And the visuals, man, 5.7 footage looked way better. Trees were sharper, bushes crisp, instead of that glitchy and washed out feeling I got in 5.6. It really felt like epic polish up foliage rendering in this preview. So there you have it. Unreal Engine 5.7 preview definitely shows improvements, especially with foliage and overall performance. Translucency and Nanite, still a no-go for now. But FPS gains of 15 to 20 in some areas, that's legit. That was a real test. That was my test. But really, I want you to be the judge. I put together two build projects video back to back at the end of this video. The one with the bald female character is running on 5.6. And the one with the classic Unreal Engine mannequin is in 5.7. Watch them side by side. Compare the FPS, the foliage, the lighting, and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you want to see my earlier stress test comparing 5.5 versus 5.6, click on the video to the left. And if you want to learn more about my game, Dev Games 3085, check out the video to the right. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you tested 5.7 yourself. I want to see what results you're seeing. Until next time, Dev Heads, keep building, keep testing, and I'll catch you on the next one.